<coughs> Hi people, Marino Ravenberg here again. Uh, I decided to simply record outside for lighting purposes. Lighting in my bedroom isn't optimal, so where I usually record. So um, yeah, this is just a change of scenery, although it's not the first time I've done so. In any case, um, it's uh, movie discussion time again, and I'm simply going to discuss the movie, a movie called The Entity 1982. Uh, this movie, before I explain or elaborate on it, uh, this movie is one of my all-time favorite movies. It's a movie that I love so much that I've added it a really, I added it a really long time ago to my collection of movies, um, primarily into the horror genre. And shortly summarized, for those of you that haven't seen the movie yet, the movie is about is a true story about a woman that uh, bluntly put gets raped that gets the bejesus raped out of her uh, by a malevolent spirit hence the name of the movie the entity it's a reference to the entity itself and for the woman it's an inexplicable nightmare she has no one to turn to practically she doesn't know what to do because she knows that no one is going to believe her this movie is set in the 80s as well you know the same date that it was released or published either the 70s the 60s or the 80s in any case around that time period or era so yeah, especially back in the day, uh, psychology and overall occultism wasn't nearly as refined as it is now, uh, as far as I know. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on this, of course, but I'm 90% sure and that's more than enough uh, in any case. So she thinks that she has no one to turn to because no one will believe her. People will see her as crazy, insane. You can't just walk up to someone and tell them, hey, I'm being raped by, a, by an evil spirit, please help me. Even if it's a psychiatrist or a physician, bottom line is that people are going to uh, automatically assume that you're mentally ill. And this uh, movie is based on a true story. Uh, and uh, if you want to know the true story behind the movie itself, then you either check the link in the description below or wait until this video is over. I'm going to um, I'm going to place it in the end screen so you can have a look at that if you want. And yeah, it's one of the most paranormally documented cases in the U.S. Last time I checked, yeah, it's seen by paranormal um, it's seen by paranormal um, uh, investigators as one of the most uh, intriguing and most um, proof worthy cases as in it was documented by proof in real life similar to in the movie and vice versa um, the woman invites a paranormal team of investigators to come you know see for themselves what's happening inside her house although she's the one being haunted and the haunting primarily takes place in her house and that uh, so not specifically her house is being haunted she's being haunted regardless of where she goes and um, the paranormal investigators actually see everything happening. The entity or that malevolent spirit actually reveals itself to them in a spectacular light show and everything else in between. And that's all I'm going to say about the movie. Watch the entire movie if you want. Um, I'm also going to leave a link in the description below where you can watch it for free. Um, and like I said, watch the end, wait for the end screen or again check the link in the description if you want to see the true story documentary. So the story, the true story behind the actual, behind the movie, the actual true story behind the movie. Um, and yeah, uh, last but not least, in terms of occult relevancy, there's not a lot to say really. Okay, a haunting is normal for a person to be haunted if you're wondering, you know, why that woman specifically. There's no specific reason, same way that you were to say that, hey, you know, why did that person choose to stab that person, you name it, no. You know, it's, I'm not saying it happens at total random, um, at its sim or simply put, at its simplest put, she was simply appealing to that, um, to that malevolent entity and it was simply fate, okay? It's fate that uh, such a tragedy has to befall you, but Everything happens for a reason, uh, like I've already stated, even, especially bad things, as above, so below, and so on and so forth. So, in terms of occult relevancy, it's not a lot else to say. You can't classify this as a poltergeist. This is literally just a tremendously strong spirit, and it's not a dead person based on uh, the information that I managed to take from 
what I saw. It's rather simply a miscellaneous uh, nature spirit, if you will. Not specifically an elemental, of course not. It's literally just a miscellaneous spirit. You can put it that way. A drifting spirit that goes from um, location to location, somebody else says. And that's normal. You've got those drifter spirits that uh, are capable of horrible things. And in this case, this is a perfect example, uh, unfortunately, for the woman. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I mean, for the rest, nothing else. It's just, a, it's quote unquote, just a haunting. It's nothing new in, in, in the world of the occult. And the spirit is Saturnian slash Martian. Practically a mixture of the two, but primarily Saturnian, some else says. And that's all, you know. For the rest, uh, like I said, it's simply the woman's fate. Okay, this was simply God's will, as is everything else, that she had to undergo this tragedy. And I don't know if the woman's still alive, okay. If she is still alive, then she's obviously ridiculously old, like 80, 90 years old. Uh, if not, then she's already passed on or passed away. And that's it. Uh, so yeah, check out the movie if you will, and I'll see you later. Bye.